and those points they can talk and put them in a backlog. We will discuss all those points at the end because it may happen uh, after one one uh, team has presented. Second team, when they present, they may end up solving some of their puzzles. So uh, first team starting, talking about their discussion summaries, talking about their issues and putting their issues on backlog, going back. Second team coming, talking about their issues, putting their, uh, uh, sharing their board, pasting their third team coming. Once the all the three teams are done with it, we can remove the issues which already got answered and rest of them we can discuss in a group. Okay, format clear? Yeah. Okay, start. You all can come together, one, one can be taken be anything. Come, come, come. Yeah. So we are, you are right, reaching at a climax in stage. Come, come. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, if you find this is far, then he can stand also. Okay. So what we should speak about this? What you what, what, what is your process? Like what all you have, have, have understood about this board? And these issues you can post them into a backlog once yeah. you explain. So, so what we have done is we have derived this Kanban board from the value stream described by him. Okay, so he has actually described the value stream that he follows in his company. And we have derived this uh, Kanban board from that value stream. Yeah, and then let me explain the process. Okay? True, true, true. So uh, the requirements comes from the customer. Okay, and these requirements directly go, doesn't go to the development team. So there is a there will be a uh, product manager. So product manager will be having interaction with the customers, not the development team. So he collects all the requirement features what a customer is expecting. So he collects the list of all the backlog items. So we can say that the customer features are backlog items. Okay, and uh, after that it goes to the product manager, and product manager will be interacting with the development manager. Okay, because development manager is aware of the different teams, not the product manager. And by uh, discussing product manager and project, uh, what we call project manager, these two guys will allocate the things to the development team. And then, as usual, testing and implementation. Okay, that is the process which was uh, followed in my uh, earlier development organization. Yeah, go ahead. You should have the cards only. These yeah. cards, we didn't write it. So, uh -huh. you should write uh, what is the feature of So, share, the share. Share. So what, what all, what, uh, just general quick information, what all information do you put on a card? So you can have the name, I mean, you, uh, sorry, you should have the name. You name of the person who is working on Name the person who is working on so that the team knows who is working on it. Okay. You should probably have uh, the amount of time left. I mean, I'm, I'm not so sure. What if, task uh, is working? Yeah, huh, definitely. That's task, the task. Task, 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 task name. And the amount of time left uh, around that task. Even okay. So, and like rest of you, you may, may Ocean, answer these yeah. questions in your term. So, when I am asking what all items, what all information should be there in a task board, then if you add something, you put it when you talk. And when your turn comes, you add those what information. What if she has questions? Huh, you already uh, raised. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, yeah. these are all our questions. Huh, okay, first let let her their, their questions. Yeah. Questions one by one. Yeah. Huh? Okay, let me read one. Okay. So first question is: Can we use Kanban boards in Scrum? Okay, so yes. uh, give give this question and we put it in the backboard. So they are they are still thinking of that. Can we use a Kanban in, in a in a Scrum environment? I have an answer to that. Uh, Abhi <laughs> <laughs> You should have said that. His task board is same in Scrum still as Kanban. Okay, so the second related question is coming is: Is the task board is same as a Kanban board? Maybe second team will try to answer it. Else, in the end, we will discuss if they are they remain unanswered. Okay, How effort estimation will be done in a Scrum a Kanban? This is an uh, interesting one. Uh, let's rather, rather than say how it should be done, I would change this. That how do you do an estimate? Like how do you estimate a first in, in a in a Kanban environment? You may not do it. How do we define define priorities in Kanban? Okay, so they have a good amount of questions, yeah. <laughs> so okay, prioritization in Kanban. Great. This is the biggest question. Uh -huh. Is Kanban just a board? Ah, uh, it is a process. <laughs> okay, great. So, after listening their questions, do you still have a question? <laughs> <laughs> they might have that. Right? We have such a set of questions. Oh! <laughs> okay, so we will do it. Great, great, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You, you are. <laughs> Attention. Please give the attention to the second thing. Yeah.
So this is our Kanban board. According to the uh, board that we use in our company that I just uh, discussed with the teams, I mean, we, what teams we had, and we, uh, we came up with a board, this kind of board. And we have uh, something like uh, five columns here. This is uh, backlog and to do in progress resolved in the closed. Here, the backlog items are like, okay, what am I going to take? Take. I mean, what am I going to work on? So this to do is a list of things that what what I will work. So this is basically what we are. I mean, what how we are handling in our organization is like it's for support project that we are handling. So it's it's day to day uh, issues that coming in to the project or anything, any kind of issues that we are uh, it's coming in and we are just moving it. Uh, from to do to in progress according to the status that okay uh, the, these are the issues that have come in today so I'm taking up okay this is this I can handle it okay I'll take this up and I'll put it in in progress once I'm done with this I'll move it to resolve okay resolve is the state that which I will be moving it and the closed is again the customer when I say customer in our organization we maintain our customer as I mean our internal customer itself it is not outside it's our own organization okay. internal customer internal customer stakeholders mm. stakeholders okay. okay so once they agreed upon that okay this issue has been fixed they move it to the closed state okay this is a simple kanban board which is used for support project and uh, you ask one question okay what can what can be there in the in progress state, right uh, on the particular task what can be visible so yeah. Assigning can be visible and also there will be estimation. Okay, estimation when I say estimation, okay, I have estimating like I'm estimating eight hours for this particular task, and I can also enter what are the I mean, how many time has been left and what are the time logged in that is estimation time, logged in time, and the remaining time. All these things can be seen on this. Okay, task. so uh, uh, like uh, if I re emphasize her, her statement, she's talking about in, in, uh, in a card uh, assigning. Estimation, initial estimation done, exactly. amount of effort spent, and what is remaining. These are the kind of information they usually maintain on their work item. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Great. So, as I said, it's uh, it's not there is no some uh, there is nothing called a sprint or something that we do it here because we don't know when the issues come in and what are the priority issues that we we are going to work on. So in this, like we do have meetings. It's not a, even though it is not like a scrum that scrum meetings. It is, but we have meetings. You do have a coordination meeting. Yes, exactly. Because, Great. Yeah, because we need to decide. Okay, what are the priorities? Priorities. Like okay, priority one might come anytime, or priority and you can call it as very critical. You can come anytime. Okay, we'll have a meeting for for that particular week or some for that particular day, and then we'll decide, and then we'll keep moving it to the great. Question. Maybe your question is also their question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> First question is like uh, where can we refer from Scrum? Okay, I think that is duplicate. Yeah, so you can put it somewhere else. If we don't put it there. So the first question is same like how it is different from Scrum? Okay. Uh, second, on top of it, I mean, why not to move to Scrum if you are doing Kanban? Why not to move to Scrum? Okay, that, that, let's keep it. When to use Scrum and when to use Kanban? Okay. Yes. So that is something we will talk. Okay. Next. Uh, is it mandatory or optional to do spring planning and we should not do it at all? I think that will cover here. Yeah, somewhere will cover. Should we do a okay, how do we do a planning in, in Kanban? Maybe you can you can talk about when 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 you have a discussion, how do we do a planning? How do we plan a month or week in Kanban? So rather than using a sprint planning, let's talk about how do we plan the work in Kanban. Okay, great. Okay. So what I had is, I mean, we do restrict our work in progress items in Kanban. So that's an additional thing so we are putting on this. Mean, what is the reason why do we do that? Okay, why do we do WIP? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> what is the question? So why do we put a WIP limit? Why should we put WIP limit? Great. I have just okay. published a course on Kanban on Udemy. Uh, during course. the discussion, uh, uh, we came to know that uh, uh, when, I mean, he is using one tool in his company where uh, the tool decides uh, for which, I mean, for SLA, how many hours you can use to complete it. Great. So, tool driven estimation. <laughs> yeah, so is it really, I mean, uh, does it fall in the agile principles? Why not? Okay, so the question is 
can we get rid of people doing estimates and just on the basis of work item some duration get assigned to it yeah. okay so maybe how do you write it but we should be able to remember this point and there is nothing wrong in it <laughs> context is is important so there is nothing wrong in it context is important no work in progress there is too much pending there what there is the pending okay the final thing so this is an existing uh, kanban board which i use in my firm this basically used so real kanban so it's basically used for the maintenance and release of one of my existing application okay so what we have done is that we have created three swim lanes here one is basically uh, known as the new products on body and the new enhancement features it is very specific to the application okay the other one is the production defects the third one is technical depths so technical depths is nothing but any refactoring of the code or any server upgrade or whatever you do that comes under this okay and if you look at the board i think we have around 11 columns here so starts with the brd then we have the approval of the brd then we have the grooming sessions we have the fd analysis we have the technical design the development system testing demo we have the uat regression and then finally we have the release which is again split into two the release ready and deployment so the reason why we have split this is you may have a lot of user stories release ready but we may not deploy it depending upon the business requirement so once the business is ready then we'll say we go ahead and deploy it any questions here so i'm moved yeah i mean the one question so we give the example that he is using the kanban mm. wherein whatever issues they are working on mm. once it is done it is deployed yeah it is directly deployed to the production environment yeah. so in that case your uap and all those stuff right mm. so that will be bypassed right or or it or again depends production yeah. issues doesn't go for uap okay so no your, uh, so directly it will come to the development because you don't require the brd and all those things for the production defects yeah so though we are using the same board okay. it will jump the columns okay. yeah, it's the same board because the team is small okay. and the same team works on every together So when do we? we it's not different that. teams. If you have different teams, you might have to split. Yeah. And the thing is that the, all the top level guys want a single view of what's happening, so that's why they kept it as a single. Dashboard. Do you also? <laughs> do you also <laughs> have uh, some uh, how to create dashboards among the work? Yes, the correct. Products. So that's done at this level, grooming level. Okay, so when you put the task or whatever items right, yeah. there, mm. we are like top two. Yeah, you can sort it out. So that sorting is done by the <coughs> business group. Okay, and so it's top two down. Yes. Okay. How do you deal with if you have a lot of switches? which one okay it's the thing is that it, right? the brd is kind of an epic which comes in here okay so it's just one epic which is created by the product team when during the fd analysis that's where the solution architect and the pa split that into child user stories and how do you refer back maybe that's all linked in version one so i don't have to really do that so it's, it's all done with two users okay they use version one yes. so until unless the entire user stories are complete the epic will not go for the deployment so those are and what is brd This is a business requirement document. So we still follow the BRD document. It's not created as a user story because this product requires around approval from various engineering teams and all those things. So okay. No, there's no board. It's purely on tool because I have a team here as well as an email. So. So what is the purpose here to know the status or to make some improvements if required? See, that is what we are looking at. It. So the thing is that we need to know where it is getting stuck. That's one of the issues which I am facing. So for example, if I put a WIP that is working limit, say for example, I have around two testers. Right? They are working on two user stories. One of the user stories has resulted in a defect which they cannot proceed. So where do I put it right now? So that's what my concern is. <laughs> that's one of the questions. Questions yeah. we have. It. So that's what. See, for example. Uh, this guy is working on two user stories. There are two team members here. One team member will be capacity will not be utilized because he is now blocked. Can I move something here? The system won't allow because the work limit says to. It says only ten items can flow through. No, what do you do now? And everything comes and stops. There. Stops. So it. you don't get any impediments here. That's what yeah, blocker yeah. is basically so, an issue created, created in version one. Doesn't let me pull no, not on the board. You don't oh, capture impediments on the board. That's why I'm saying. So in the version one itself, you can create an issue and assign it to a particular user story. So it is. We will discuss. Yeah, yeah. So the point of the question is that there could be a separate stage called block, and we can put it there. So that's one of the questions we have. Yeah. So that is. But there are side effects also. There are many. Because what is the next item? 
Take yes. So there's yeah. a side effect also because once we put it on a plot, we feel relaxed about ah, it. Exactly. We can keep exactly. pushing on the plot. What about adding, adding, adding more people, right? In such cases, <laughs> have you have you done this? Like you know, adding <laughs> some more. That's another challenge. Getting people. That was my question. Like, uh, how do you know? Like, uh, who are all working in a particular? Uh, so that's so why. So the card has, so has it. So if you look yeah. at the version one, it will know who's the owner, who's the product owner, who's working on that part. And also it will tell you the cycle time, how long this particular card was lying in this state. So everything is driven by this. So the cycle time kya hota hai? So but then you are saying uh, this doesn't exist on board, it is only on the tool. Yes. No, yeah. no board. No, no physical board. No physical board. No physical board, it's digital board. Digital digital board. board. So yeah. So they have a digital board. Like digital board. Yeah, correct. Yeah. That's okay. still a board. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> It just should not be on the tool. So, yeah. there is some here, yeah. It can also, be projected on LED TV. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. so, yeah that, that means question, it's still about. Another question is since you are doing a lot of new products, or sorry, new requirements as well, it's not more of a service and, you know, let's say support kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Why did you go for uh, Kanban style, not Scrum? See, since the thing since with the Scrum which I tried earlier is <coughs> you are limiting yourself saying that within this three weeks I have completed and the team is working on that part. Mm -hmm. Suddenly a production issue comes, what will you do? Hmm. Or there are change coming in because this new products, there's a lot of change happening. Hmm. So you can't do it by asking. We tried it and it was not working. Hmm. That's why we have to keep it open. Hmm. So in that way, there's a flexibility. Like if I'm working on two of the products, if the priority can be changed by the business, whereas in Scrum, you can't do that. So it's basically the same team is handling both the yes. production as well as the... All, all the three are handled by the same team. Okay. No, because the same inside. similar board we have used for development mm -hmm. and that is for a safe kind of thing. Oh. Wherein we have put uh, different different stages for working yeah. process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think okay. this can be used even for development basically. If you just talk about the challenge, the WAP is something we already discussed. Um, the other thing uh, was... We still write it. Uh, WAP no, no, limits no, no. the we'll put it in the okay. to discuss okay. 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 Cycle and throughput, as in when you have so many stages, how do you really track you know, how much time a work item takes to so really finish? How do you plan? Because it has to go into the next stage of planning, okay. all of that. Okay, great. Uh, he said technically it is one of the streams that, you know, this class of company, they, they class of service that they are uh, uh, tracking. But uh, where I work, technical debt is something nobody cares about. They say, no, don't even bring it to me. It's something that you handle internally. But so that I can't put anything visually here. So we discuss a quick thing. What I do is uh, we have a, I, I call it a verse of scrum, scrum band board. We have anytime anyone finds a refactoring thing to be done, you put a sticky note there with a date on when it was found. As and when we find time, we pick it and do it. It's been working great for my team uh, because we've fixed most, we are, we are like, we don't have any debt as of today. We fixed a few things today, so that really helps. So that's the point. So there's something we want to discuss if you want to track. Uh, requirements, granularity, again, uh, I think yeah, that's what he talked about. Epic for user stories. That's it. Great.